Hello everyone and welcome to UDL week number 5 here. We are playing against Iron Knuckle and the Toronto Tankatons. Um, Iron Knuckle, really really good player. Um, someone who's been in the league for a long time. They have this really cool rating team here. They have Thunderous, Politoed, Moltres, Ludicolo, Bisharp, Iron Boulder, Gudra, Clefable, Slowpoke Galler, Staravia, and Rhyhorn. So this team is really, really cool. Has some really, really strong options as well. Um, Thunderous, which is with its Wild Bolt Storms in rain, uh, always is going to hit. Um, makes it very dangerous, especially with paralysis chances. Politoed, going to set the rain, going to do lots of, you know, things with that. Um, especially supporting something like Ludicolo, who has Swift Swim. Um, also just is going to boost their water type attacks. Moltres with Hurricane, it's going to be able to hit its Hurricanes 100% of the time. So it's a really big accuracy check for that for their team, as well as boosting the power of Politoed and Ludicolo's um, water type moves. Bisharp um, is... Probably a really good Pokemon into my team, um, and in all honesty, uh, we obviously have that um, expanding force core with uh, Indeedee and Hatterene. It shuts that down, it has really good defensive typing, and is able to hold an Eviolite, making its defensive stats uh, really, really strong. Um, one, it's going to basically be 150 defense and like 110, 120 uh, special defense, um, so... You know, is going to be able to really, really take hits. Iron Boulder, uh, a booster energy Pokemon, uh, can do booster attack, booster speed. More than likely to see booster attack against our team, uh, just because we don't have a lot of speed overall. Um, and that makes it very threatening and has some really, really great stats, especially on the special side. Uh, special defense, really great speed, really great attack, uh, good HP, just a really good base stat spread uh, across the board with Boulder. Uh, Gudra, another Pokemon who can spam muddy waters in the um, in the rain. It has hydration if it you know is worried about status, um, and uh, yeah, you know it has really great special defense as well. Kind of can sit in front of our special cores, which is you know a, a big threat considering we have a very strong special core uh, on our team. Clefable uh, got follow me support. You've got uh, you know, good typing with Fairy, um, you have Magic Guard, Life Orb, you have Unaware if we have, um, you know, stat boosters and things like that. So definitely need to be aware of that, pun intended. And then Slowpoke is just, um, you know, this might have uh, Imprisoned Trick Room, so that could be something we could potentially see. My expectation is probably not, but um, it is an option for them. Uh, Staravia, an Intimidator, uh, more than likely not going to see this this week either. Um, uh, you know, these are their one-pointers. They went, you know, pretty heavy on their top uh, seven or eight Pokemon here. Uh, all really, really strong. And then, you know, went with low tiers for their final three. Uh, Rhyhorn has Lightning Rod. That's, that's pretty much its main, uh, I think, calling card there. Um, so yeah, I'm you know uh, this this team is uh, this team is worrisome. I am expecting some things like Airy Impulse, Electric Terrain, Electric Terrain, Prankster Thundee. Um, you know, trying to change our terrain on our MDD um, to then uh, you know stop our expanding force spam. Uh, Politoed, just pretty standard, more than likely. Um, same thing with Moltres and Ludi. Uh, you know, probably. Uh, fire move plus flying move plus something maybe roar roar is a good uh, tech on this u-turn um, weather ball willowis things like that all pretty solid uh Ludi, you know it, it's gonna probably be running it's pretty standard core of of just very strong attacker stuff fish rb light and so on and so forth so how are we going to uh, combat this. How are we going to combat this here? Um, so, 
we will be playing uh, Eviolite Duraludon. I think that typing wise, this thing has a fantastic matchup into this week. Um, it resists the water type moves, it resists the electric type moves, it resists the rock and psychic type moves from Iron Boulder, the flying type moves from potentially, you know, Terra Flying Thunderous. Um, it doesn't want to eat a close combat from Iron Boulder, it doesn't want to eat a Moonblast from Clefable, so that's why we are running Terra Poison on it. We are running the special attacking variant with Body Press as well to try to deal with that Bisharp. Um, Flash Cannon, Dragon Pulse, Body Press, Protect on it, I think, uh, are all pretty, pretty solid. Uh, could potentially pop Snarl onto it, but I don't want to potentially proc uh, King, uh, the, the, the Bisharp. I almost said King Gambit. <laughs> In DD here, we're going to be running with Psychic Seed, Psychic Surge, Terra Dragon. Uh, it's just going to make it bulky overall, just allow it to sit on the field, um, do the damage that we needed to, you know, uh, do the support that we needed to have some damage output with the psychic um follow me trick room and healing wish um in in honor of chef vgc's uh healing wish in dd uh gives us the ability to potentially just get off the field if we don't want the indeedy on there um bring in something like the blood moon in the back uh heterine life orb terra electric uh just defensive typing overall on this um so they can resist, uh, you know, the fire type, uh, the flying type moves from uh, Moltres, the electric type moves from Thunderous. Um, I was Terra Grass on it. I may get back to it, but we do have some interesting tech here. We have Dazzling Gleam, Expanding Force, Substitute, and Trick Room. Uh, Substitute just going to let us kind of, you know, if they want to run single dark type move on Bisharp, we can set the uh, substitute while they're trying to sucker punch um oh and it resists the steel type moves which is why i ran the electric <laughs> against against the bisharp uh you know sometimes you have to remind yourself when why you build these teams uh when it's x amount after the games or uh, after you built uh next up we have ursuline of blood moon with the assault vest this is another late change that i made i was originally putting the throat spray on it, but I figured that the assault vest with the Terra Normal allows us to live a double up from both Politoed and from uh, Ludicolo um, in rain, so with muddy water. So uh, that's obviously really good if we if we can get that uh, Hyper Voice, Earth Power, Blood Moon, and Vacuum Wave. Uh, we got Sinistra. Um, Sinistra seems like a really good piece this week, um, having some good matchups into everything not named. Bisharp. Uh, so we got uh, the Sinistra with the Citrus Berry. It's going to be Terra Water on it uh, with Hospitality, Rage Powder, Macha Gacha, Trick Room, and Scald. So got some good answers to some certain Pokemon there. Then finally, we have a Raquinid here with the Mystic Water, Water Bubble, Terra Water, pretty standard, Liquidation, Leech Life, Y Guard, and Protect. So, you know, I think that we have the, the pieces here in order to make it happen. Uh, you know, Endor is something that we would really love to be bringing this week, but with all the water types running around, it really becomes a Terra Hog. Um, it doesn't necessarily match up into anything that great outside of um, Bisharp for the most part. So, um, you know, we're going to let our stalwart uh, Duraludon try and handle that to the best of its ability. Um, and use our strong trick room mode to try and beat their very speedy team. So with that, um, let's get into the battles. And here is the team. Um, pretty much exactly what we were expecting. Um, for the most part, exactly what we were expecting from their team. We have the Boulder, the Moltres, the uh, Water Duo, Bisharp, and of course Clefable. So how do we want to play this? I mean, we could lead our standard Cat Trick Room Up mode. I don't think it's bad. No Thunderous. That's something I just recognized. No Thunderous. So that is not 
entirely what we were expecting. Hmm. So yeah, I think that we can lead that mode, bring the uh, Ursa Luna into the back. And then is it the Arachnid or the... I want to bring Duralid on. Okay, Moltres plus Boulder here. Moltres plus Boulder here. I think I am just going to click follow me and a trick room here. Mighty Cleave, Heat Wave, does take out the Ndidi here. I am going to bring in Ursaluna Luna here. Like I feel like the boulder probably protects here. So our play could be to Blood Moon. Could just be Hyper Voice plus Expanding Force. I'm gonna click Earth Power and Expanding Force. Okay, that's good damage. I mean, I would have loved Hyper Voice here. We do just get picked the Clefable here. Heat Wave is gonna miss our. Ursaluna, which is great. We do go down to a Life Orb chip on the next turn. In comes Bisharp here. I think that we... Earth Power the Bisharp and... Expanding Force the Moltres again. Okay. Throw Chop into there. Bring in Duraludon. I think that we absolutely just Earth Power into a... Body Press on the Bisharp. Throw Chop comes out. We do not take the Bisharp there. Okay. I think that my play here is I click Hyper Voice into Flash Cannon. Okay. It's not super ideal. I can... Vacuum wave. And dragon pulse. There's heat wave. Burn into there. I think we're going to lose here. I'm going to Terra Poison and just go for it with the flash cannon. Close combat. We survive! We survive it, and we pull it off. Let's go. All right. On to round, game number two here. All right. Okay. Game two. So. I think that our modes were good there. Hmm.
I think that I'm going to leave the same. I am going to bring the Blood Moon. And I think I'm going to bring the Araquanid over the Duraludon. Because Duraludon's damage output just was not where I wanted it to be. That was that was a close one there. Very, very happy to uh to have the Terra save there. Okay, Boulder plus Polly here. Boulder plus Polly. So rain is up. I think that I am just going to click follow me trick room again. Muddy water is going to miss. That's very good. Their room service on the polytoad. I'm going to bring in a raquinid. I am going to click liquidation into the iron boulder and expanding force. They do go Terra Water, but that's okay. We do get the drops. We do not miss. And we do take the um, the boulder there. That's very, very good. In comes Bisharp here. I think that I just click Liquidation. And Dazzling Gleam here. Okay, that's fine. Muddy Water is going to come out. It's going to miss. Double Accuracy Drop. Not super ideal. But we do pick up the Politoed here. What do they have in the back? Clefable. They have Clefable in the back here. Um, Alright, I think that the play is Liquidation and Dazzling Gleam once again here. Dazzling Gleam does hit both. Liquidation does hit, takes the Clefable. Throat Chop comes out. Liquidation, Dazzling Gleam. We could have definitely gotten a, uh, a, protect, a substitute off there. Um, okay, we're gonna hit Liquidation into Dazzling Gleam. Throw Chop into there. Dazzling Gleam is going to take Bisharp down to very little. Bring in the Ursaluna Blood Moon here and click Vacuum Wave into Dazzling Gleam. All right. We improve our record uh, with another win here. So very, very happy to uh, get this one uh you know, with a victory here, um, that was that was a tough match, and I think it ended up being a lot closer, um, especially with those uh, missed muddy waters and stuff. So just got to be, you know, thankful for some good RNG. But I also think we played really, really well. Um, Araquan did was a really good pivot in that game, um, allowing us to have a lot of offensive output uh, with the expanding force uh, spam really put the pressure on the boulder and it opened it up to expanding force plus um that so really really happy about that and uh that has been week number five i'll see you guys next week <laughs>